Hey guys. Hi guys. As you can see, we have the IT lineup. And uh, besides chases, we never get lucky with chases, sorry. But we'll talk about the chases a little bit later because I think that this line has some of the best chases out there. I think so too. Well, this took us a long time to collect. We had to go to all different kinds of places to get these and we finally got the last one in the mail this week, which was the Amazon exclusive mm -hmm. Pennywise. A lot of Pennywises to collect. And There's an insane amount of Pennywise. <laughs> there are. Makes sense. And I'm lucky because you've been allowed me to get this. Yeah, because this movie I actually kind of enjoyed. Maybe it was because the first one it really just, I don't know, tortured me as a child. Yeah. But this one as an adult, it wasn't as bad. Well, also, this one wasn't scary. This I don't think this one was meant to be scary. This one was meant to be oh, like... Oh, did we watch the same movie? Because I thought it was terrifying. This movie? Yes. Well, this, she doesn't like scary movies. Nope. This movie was not scary. <laughs> this movie was done in a way to be a classic. One that... Everybody can watch. You're going to remember, this is like that middle school kid that talks about it constantly. Like, did you see how scary this was and how scary that was? Yeah. That's what that is. And then that kid will grow up and remember this is a classic. And then as an adult like us, we look back at this movie and say, that was just a really good movie. It was a very good movie. And there were certain scenes in it that I was just kind of like, wait, did that just happen? <laughs> I loved it. I honestly loved it. I can't wait for the second one to come out. So anyways. I can. <laughs> I can totally wait for it. Funko started off the lineup with, what, I guess three, four Pennywises, technically, mm -hmm. with the chase. Um, not Nothing spectacular, I didn't think. The no. only one that stuck out to me, personally, was the Walmart exclusive yes, with, with the, the wig. Hair. Yeah, I love that one, and we do, we do have that one. We that do. was our only Pennywise we bought from the last lineup. But what I really wanted when that first series came out was the Losers Club. Mm -hmm. You know, after that movie, I thought the kids did such a great job. They were great actors. They really they made that movie. They are great actors. It was like Stranger Things mixed with it. That's what I loved about yeah. it. They really made that movie. That's what made it, I think, a classic and will be continue to be a classic mm -hmm. throughout the years is basically how the kids were, they acted. Right. And I remember when Pennywise, when the suit first was shown, everybody was like, ugh. I was like, that is awesome. That is scary. And finally, somebody in Hollywood has done a design that will stand the test of time with a look. Yes, it definitely will. And it, the way that that actor kind of posed his lips like super oh man. creepily. Ah. It was so great. I loved it. So anyways, uh, Funko has finally come out with Series 2 and it does include the Losers Club. And it is a great lineup and they did all of them. Yes. Which was great. Them. They didn't do like four of the kids and then they'll do four later. They, they pull the riches up and said, you know what, I think we're going to sell we really well. And we're just going to put them all out here. So uh, thank you for that. And they did three really good Pennywises. So uh, let's get into it. First off, I'm going to go ahead and go with the regular Pennywise, and that is Pennywise with spider legs. Now, this oh. is when they're fighting uh, down in the tunnel, down in the hole, I guess, the, yeah. the sewer, if you will. Um, I never thought it was actually spider legs, though. I thought there were crab legs in the movie. In the huh? movie, I thought it was, but then, you know, if you think back to the original, it's yeah, nice spider Yeah, it was spiders, legs. yeah. So, uh, but uh, even this looks like crab legs. So I don't know. I almost <laughs> want to call it Pennywise and crab legs. Uh, but this one's great. It has that FYE exclusive face from uh, Series 1. Yeah. And then the body's normal, but all they did was take the arms off and put those crab, Ugh. or those, those I gotta get, I gotta get used to saying legs. spider legs on them. So it was a very easy switch out for Funko to do. They didn't have to do anything special. Uh, basically, it cost them nothing to make this because they took two from the original and mm -hmm. then just made these uh, these legs. They kind of Frankensteined it. Yeah, they Frankensteined it to make it <laughs> cheap. But that's okay because they came out with other Pennywises right. that were completely new sculpts, so that was okay. But I do like this one. Um, I love the yellow eyes on it. I love those arms. This is the one that came regularly in the lineup, so uh, uh, it just looks cool, basically. It's very cool, but Pennywise really creeps me out, so I'm just going to pass on it. Uh, I would say this is the least cool Pennywise of the lineup. In my opinion. Now you can't talk about Pennywise without talking about Georgie, so let's move into his pop. Now I honestly, Georgie. <laughs> I was yeah. I was kind of surprised they made Georgie as a pop because he was in the movie for such a short amount of time. No, no, no. He's huge. He's the whole reason the movie exists. I know, I know, but I was honestly surprised. I did not expect them to make Georgie. Yeah, I would have thought if they would have made one kid, it would have been Georgie. Really? Yeah. See, I, I wouldn't have guessed that. But I do like this pop, and I love that he has his little boat, too, yeah. the paper boat. Because you can't have Georgie without, you know, two things. The paper boat and the yellow raincoat. That's right, that yellow so raincoat's awesome. So this is perfect. They have both elements within the pop, and then it says, of course, you know, SS Georgie on the paper boat. So I think this is nice. Other than that, it's quite a simple design, and even the face, like, there's not a whole lot of detail within it. But I enjoy the pop because it's Georgie. And... The Chase version of this, which I don't, I kind of want to get. I honestly want to get. I want to get both Chases in this because I think they're very good. Very, very mm -hmm. good. 
Uh, the chase version of him is great. His arm is ripped off. Yes. Which looks amazing. Creepy. And his face looks dead. You know, he's got that gray sort of mm -hmm. skin tone. Yeah. Which looks amazing. And I guess we also need to talk about, we're going to talk about Georgie and we're going to talk about uh, Pennywise Hot Topic exclusive. We haven't got it yet because our Hot Topic hasn't got it yet. But yes. better be sure I'm going to get it. Uh, the main scene, the the most famous scene, yes! the sewer scene, is a movie moment where Georgie is looking down, moments. and you can see Pennywise in the sewer, right. looking at him. You can see the raindrops in the rain. You can see amazing, away. super crazy. Very expensive though, thirty-two dollars and fifty cents. I'm not sure what Hot Topic's doing there. They used to always be like twenty some dollars, yeah. and then you could use. Uh, rewards points on them, and you could use your coupons and everything. Well, they've seemed to have gone away from that. I think they know that this one's going to sell, so they're like, hey, make that money. <laughs> You're probably right. Yeah, it kind of sucks. But $32, even though it's a lot of money, I feel like I'll probably go ahead and buy that probably. at $32. I don't have a problem because I think it's so cool. Now, moving on, throughout the scene, we showed you the regular spider legs Pennywise. Let me show you what we got in this week, which was the Amazon exclusive Pennywise. This one actually has Georgie's hand, his arm in his hand, really? which is awesome. So he's already taken it off and, and, well, really, he never really held the hand. He just bit it and ate it. But still, you get the point. Say, he would just like chomp yeah. and bit it right off. So he's a great counterpart to the chase. If you get the Georgie chase where his arm's missing, mm -hmm. this one looks great standing right next to it. And I do love the box that it comes in because you got that blood splatter. Yeah. And, and it just lots looks really great. Lots of blood splatter. Yeah, lots of blood splatter. Even on Pennywise's face, on yeah. his suit, it's got the blood splatter on it's like it. Blood down his mouth, which is so gross. Now this is a regular Pennywise head. Actually, everything in it is regular except for the hand, but mm -hmm. they've added all the blood and the gore. Right. And, and uh, blood always makes it better. And blood always makes it better. And they got the spray around the eyes to make him look sort of very sinister. So I'm a big fan of this. This one might be my favorite Pennywise in the lineup. I don't know though, the one coming up next that I'll show you is probably even cooler because it's so <laughs> off the wall. So my favorite character in the entire movie is Ben. Yes. I think Ben is fantastic. The actor is great, and honestly, I cannot wait to see what he's going to do. I think he's going to do great things. Ben made the movie for he me. He really did, for yeah. me too. He brought the movie down from like this big scary thing to something that was more relatable, and I just yeah. really loved him so, he, he so much. He brought the comedic relief, relief. He was the Dustin from He was Strange the Dustin, things. definitely. But he was a better Dustin. Yeah, ooh! <laughs> So, yeah, he was sort of the uh, the chubby kid that didn't fit in. He came from another town. Yes. Uh, he knew some things other people didn't know. He's the kid that everyone can relate to that you're kind of, you're a little shy, a little reserved, and if you may be a little bullied or something. So I really loved him because I could like relate to him as a child growing I up. I loved his sort of relationship with Beverly. Yes. How, oh, you know, he, too. that was great. I love that. That is what made this movie classic to me yes. because that whole idea is very like you think of that when we were kids watching shows in Definitely. the 90s like there was a lot of like young kid relationships i don't know if you see that much anymore well, movies, you, have that, about. you have that person that you kind of crush on and you're just like oh my god and hearts and butterflies and then the girl your breaks your heart because she's like oh i thought we were friends yeah and you're like wait what? we're in the friend, friend zone, zone. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, I agree with you. I thought Ben was an awesome... I think uh, he was amazing. It. He's probably the best in the whole movie for me. So he's holding the Easter egg in this, which I really love, because in the movie he goes down into the basement and because he, he sees the red balloon, of course, and then he follows it and it takes him down into the basement with all of the Easter eggs all around. Yeah, a hint to the, yes. the town's Easter thing where all the kids were killed or whatever. Right. Yeah, and then he sees that one that's like flaming hot on the bottom of the stairs. Yeah. And then like Pennywise, the shape-shifting crap. Ah, creepy. creepy. So... I love this, and I like how he has his lone wolf shirt on, which is pretty mm -hmm. cool. So, glow um, in the dark too. Which, yes, definitely. I think it's just the egg. It's it is just the, the egg, but yeah. I like this one. He's my favorite. Moving along, if we're gonna talk about Ben, we gotta talk about Beverly. Here's another really, really great one. Um, out of all the pops, I think that were made in this lineup. Beverly looks the closest to the actor. Yes. Or actress, I should say. Yes. Uh, very great sculpt on her hair. I love her freckles. I think the freckles were done so great. Mm. The, even the uh, the little outfit she wore, the dress. Her dress it is had a, so beautiful. Yeah, it had a pattern on right. it in the movie, and they've actually matched that pattern. They yep. didn't just sort of guess. And she has all of her jewelry on, and uh, I really like it. Boots, everything. Like I said, this one really matches the actress. Now, mm -hmm. talking about chases again, she has another really, really great chase where she has all the blood all over her. So if you've seen the movie, you know that scene where she's in her bathroom and there's just blood everywhere. She turns into Carrie, basically. Yeah, turns into <laughs> Carrie, basically, yeah, no doubt. And uh, that is the chase. So again, 
I definitely think both chases, whether it's Georgie's chase or Beverly's chase, are well worth trying to buy and put in yes, your collection. I think so too. They're they're fantastic chases. Some of the best chases I've seen come out from Funko in a long time. Mm -hmm. A lot of times Funko just makes a chase where they're very just insignificant. Yes. New thing they're holding in their hand or, or just something I don't or, care about yeah, enough to very buy. Small. This, on the other hand, they, they've uh, they've made it well enough to the point where you want it, but if you don't have it, it's not a big deal, but you definitely need it. Yes. So I, I really appreciate that. And I just absolutely love, I love that pop. Beverly's awesome. So my second favorite character in the entire show is Stanley. I think Stanley is so funny, and he's that annoying kid that everyone knows growing up that they're just like, shut up, but then you can't help but love them. Yeah. That's Stanley for me. Like, so. How's your hair so good, dude? Yes. Just get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's hilarious that Stanley has the pipe and then of course some blood like splattered around his face. Mm. The hair in this is what really does it for me because the hair is so detailed and it just, it's really perfect the way it curls around his face and stuff. I love this one so much. His outfit's very plain, very simple, but he doesn't really wear anything outlandish in the movie, so it would no. have to be I mean, simple. that's what you mainly see him in. So. Right. Another really great pop. Yep. Good skull. Definitely. A lot, of the, a lot of the stuff in here, since the, the kids are so sort of basic, they had to really work on the hair, yeah. and I think they've done a really good job. So uh, let's move on to another kid, okay? This is probably um, my favorite kid besides Ben, yeah. I would say, and that's Eddie. I loved Eddie. I thought Eddie was fun. I thought Eddie was hilarious. He is the young, uh, <laughs> that scene that he broke his hand. <laughs> yeah! Oh, I was that like, scene. ooh, gross! Now when we look at the pop, you can see he has his cast on that says, loser on it that the girl wrote lover. on and then it scraped out and said lover which Beverly did later he's got his fanny pack on which i i absolutely love and his inhaler mm -hmm. so uh i love it and of course he has the good hair too because uh, eddie has good hair too but he was sort of right. the the small vulgar one like a like a little uh, oh, lap dog like yeah. that's that's who eddie was to me he was every time he like would say a line i couldn't help but just laugh because it would catch yeah. you off guard yeah eddie was great i loved eddie in the movie. i did too i think that this character was fantastic and it's mike he, yeah, did did job job. Mm -hmm. he did a great job in this because I wasn't expecting his character to like stand out as much as the others, but he really did. Well, and and it's sort of done on purpose because in the second movie, he should play a lot he a bigger, lot bigger part role. if we're going yeah. by what the actual story is going right. to happen in part two. Mm -hmm. Mike's going to have a much bigger role. Yes. And so they did that on purpose, I mm -hmm. think. Yeah. And I think it's kind of great how they brought Mike and the Losers Club all together. Like, mm -hmm. I think that that's amazing how they did that in the movie. And I think that this is a great rendition of Mike. Of course, he has his chucks on. And then, like, the bandolier going across his chest with his ammo in it. And then he's carrying his pistol in his right hand. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he's ready to take him out. But it's not a pistol. It's the thing that they shoot the pigs or cows. I can't remember. Yeah. Sheep. Whatever yeah. animal it was. No country for old men. Yeah. yeah. But... Awesome, I like yeah. this one. Basic pop, just like Very a lot basic. of the kids. But uh, cool. again, if you liked the movie, all these kids play a significant role in your collection. Right. And uh, and that's a, that's the beauty of it. Exactly. Is that this is a group, this is a team. You so. can't have one without the other. That's right. You can't have one without the other love and marriage. And then uh, bringing up, I guess, the last kid, because I don't think you have any more, do you? I have one more. Okay, well then, the second to last kid. Uh, Richie. Richie is another one, I think, that as far as a sculpt, they've done one that looks a dead ringer for the actor. Mm -hmm. in the movie. Oh my Just god, a dead yes. Ringer. I love this one. This one actually reminds me of the Sandlot one coming yes. up. I wonder if this, I'm going to have to look back and see if this Squints. is the same. Yeah, this might be Squints. Everything about him looks you like You know Squid. what? That's okay, because I love squids. <laughs> yeah. So we've got Sandlot coming, too. We pre-ordered Sandlot, because we're going to have a problem. we got to go get the GameStop exclusive mm -hmm. Beast. Um, yes. He should be coming out soon. Although I kind of don't want to, because I'm wondering if they're ever going to come out with a flocked one. So it's a little difficult. You know how that works. You can have but both. Animals I want flocked. I don't know. But uh, yeah, Richie looks great. He's got his glasses. He has his uh, freckles. They've done something different this this round in freckles. Pops usually have like one, two, three, four little freckles. Where this one, they've now carried freckles all the way up. Um, mm -hmm. And they're a lot smaller. So I really like how they're doing freckles now. Now the leader of this ragtag group is Bill. And yeah. bringing up the rear is Bill. <laughs> yeah. The most important kid, I guess. Absolutely. I mean, he kind of... George's brother. Exactly. <laughs> There's a reason why this all yeah. is happening. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think that this one's pretty simple as well, but I like it because, you know, Bill has his flashlight and then his backpack, and I think his hair is pretty nice. It's simple, but it's got these sharp, blunt edges, which 
is yeah. reminiscent of that time. Yeah, I mean, it's a ba it's again a very basic pop. Mm -hmm. it's just really, I mean, he's just holding a flashlight. Yeah, but, but he's got chunky laced shoes. Which yeah, like. but just not a whole lot you can do there. No, but it's Bill, so you got him. Yeah, there you go. You got Bill. He's yeah, in your collection. Bill. What more do you want? And then finally, maybe the best Pennywise in the set, Ugh. and it comes via <laughs> Fye as the Fye exclusive. This is Pennywise with wrought iron. That's what it says Pennywise with wrought iron. But basically, uh, uh, Beverly stuck a pipe in his face. Yeah, she did. She's <laughs> like, kill yeah. him! And uh, when they're in the kitchen fighting, mm -hmm. um, and uh, it was a cool scene. And I, I remember him pulling his face out and seeing that really nasty looking face. And oh, I, no. I am so surprised Stop, that I Funko. Cold chill. I can't believe Funko did the pop of that. Uh, it's great. And even seeing the pipe go in his face, you can really see his. Uh, the distortion Ugh, of his yes. face. And I love that what they've done with the eyes, too, where they've got three different colors on the eyes and then the sort of airbrush around it in black and that weird mouth. They've done a crazy-looking mouth. Mm -hmm. And they've even done crazy fingers on him, too, because he in that scene, also, he grew his fingers into those weird <laughs> claws. Yes. So, again, and the hair. The hair is done so crazy, too. Uh, I can't just, even look at that one without getting goosebumps. I hate scary movies. Um, and I can't awesome. stand scary clowns, so that one really just kind of sends me over the edge. So that's the that is the It movie series two. I don't assume we're gonna see a series three. Uh, we might see like maybe well, some more Pennywise or something. Three. I don't know what else they do. Are you playing? You know, I mean, there's a couple more people you could do, but I don't know if you could sort of do a whole series on that. We might see more Pennywises though. I'm not yeah. sure. We might see some more Pennywises, but I will say this was a great set. This is one of those ones we haven't. In a while, we haven't wanted to go out and collect every single one. I know. It, typically, we'll be like, oh, we'll just get one or two. But this one, we're like, we need the whole lineup. You can't have, lineup. like, the Losers Club without having the entire club. And this one, I think, will end up being in one of the back cases. So, yeah. if you've seen, we'll have a video up, too, that I'm working on where we show you how to display pops different ways. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to show you how the baseball bat display works that you can go get from Michaels. These are definitely going to end up in one of those. Yeah, they really should. They could be great. So, guys, if you uh, are interested in the FYA exclusive or the Amazon, on. If he comes back up or any of these, we will throw links down in the description. Thank you guys again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.